Joe, how do you recycle the caps off the water bottle? Great question. Recycling the caps off the water bottles is something that is fairly new in the recycling world. As with any other item though, it begins with you putting the water bottle in the recycle bin when you're done with it. Then the process begins as the water bottle caps are separated out from other materials, then sent to a processing center where the bottle caps become the center of attention. We are out here at Global PET and I'm here with Nadim. Now, Nadim, yeah. before we get started and see anything, I gotta know, people are curious, do we keep the caps on the bottles or do we take the caps off? Keep the caps on the bottles. This way we can recycle it. What? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. I hear that you're supposed to take the caps off. No, you have to keep it on because it's part of the weight of the bottles, part, part of the recycling program because the caps end up being floated and recycled again, so why trash it? Now, is that everywhere across the country or just with your process? Well, not just me, but uh, right now, uh, the country is more developed in the recycling side of it, and there's more awareness that yes, you can take the caps and you can recycle it and end up having an end product out of it. So then, leave the caps on. Leave the caps on, please. Yeah, <laughs> leave the caps on. Okay, so it might be different in your part of the country, but here, we're leaving the caps on. Yes, we are. All right, so when you get the bottles, do they all look like this? They're all bailed up? They're all bailed up. They first go, go get, get loose into the recycling centers. Then the recycling centers collect them and take them to a processing yard. Then the processing, processing yard bails them <laughs> and send them to us. How heavy are these, each one of these? Uh, probably an average of 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. You and I could probably pick a couple of these up. Probably. Or probably not. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> so once they come here, what do you do with them? Uh, we take them to a bale breaker mm -hmm. where it breaks the bales. They become loose bottles. They go through a sortation program where we separate the, the clear from the green. And then it goes to our wash line where it floats the polypropylene and the labels and the caps away from the PET since the PET sinks and the polypropylene will float. Polypropylene are the, the plastic bottle, right? The bottle part? No. Oh. The PET is the bottle part. The polypropylene is the caps like this. Okay. And the labels like that. In the old days, they used to be paper. It's mm -hmm. no longer the case. Now it's polypropylene. The plastic, basically. Plastic. It is plastic. It's all plastic. We're focusing on the caps today. Does it matter what color the caps are? Not at all. No. So you'll separate matter. green bottles and, and uh, clear bottles? Yeah. But you won't separate cap colors? No. Uh, the water does not uh, understand color. It's just going to float it. Uh, the cap's going to be floated, and the PET bottles are going to sink. Let's go check out the process. Cool. And then at the end, what we have is clean bottle caps. So, wow. So now I can see all the bottle caps. Right, where before it was mixed with the labels and the BET, now you can see it's just 100% bottle cap material. Now, earlier Nadine said that they separate the colors of the bottles themselves. And I asked him, does it matter what color the caps are? And he said, no, no. Correct, yeah. Why is that? When we're blending them together in a milk process, it actually blends together and becomes a gray material. And that lends itself to a variety of other colors. Obviously, the obvious one would go black or gray, or if you add some additional color to it, you're able to go other colors as well in the end product. Wow. 